Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm shooting a challenge video. I'm going to do my makeup with all makeup that I bought at Dollar Tree. So I went earlier today to my local Dollar Tree and picked up several items. Now that I have everything laid out in front of me, I forgot one thing, lipstick. So I figure we'll cheat through that maybe seeing how this turns out we may cheat through that and use a free lipstick that i got as a sample or something anyway so let's start off with some of the things that i got i'm going to go through everything that i got do the look and see what you guys think so starting off with they don't sell primer um it was really hard for me to find my shade and anything that they had. Um, there was no contour. Um, no eyebrow stuff. But we'll go through what we got. So I picked up this BB cream from Sassy and Chic. Um, I got it in the shade light, so I'm hoping this is a good match. I got a pressed. Pa oh, yeah no concealer. I knew there was something else. There was no concealer. <clears throat> I got this pressed powder compact in the shade Nude from LA Colors. Um, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we're... Oh, like, they didn't even give you, like, a sponge. It's, like, literally a piece of foam. Um, but that is what the compact pack looks like, and it definitely feels cheap. <laughs> Moving on from there, I got two different kinds of bronzer and highlighter. So I'm going to go with the sticks first. I got these two sticks from LA Colors. One is a highlighter, one is a bronzer. So what I might do, since this is not like a look I'm going to be wearing out anywhere, I might do half of my face with the contour stick. I might do the other half with the powders that I got. I got a bronzer and a highlighter, both from LA Colors. Most of the things at Dollar Tree were LA Colors. They had a few e.l.f. products. I got one e.l.f. item and a surprise buy. But most of everything else was either LA Colors or Sassy and Chic. Excuse me while I'm trying to open this stuff. I literally just got off work. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to shoot this video. Because tonight is my changeover. I go from second shift to midnight. So I've got to stay awake as long as possible. So what better way than to spend it doing content for you guys. So that is our contour highlight situation. Now they had quite a few different eyeshadows. Um, but I'm not really like a bright colors person in my office. I don't wear blues. So they had a lot of like really bright colors and blues. But I did find this from LA Colors, which is a little 12 pan little palette thing. It's called the LA Colors Eyeshadow Nudes. Um, so we're going to see what that is like, I also picked up, I might actually use this one after this video. I don't foresee me using a lot of this product after the video, but who knows? Might find something that's just amazing that I can get a Dollar Tree. My husband would want that. Ah, if I can get into these packaging, man, I swear. But I got this nice little, sh uh, one pan eyeshadow palette, wet and wild. This is in the shade Creme Brulee. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And then for blush, we have another LA Colors product in the shade Berry Plum. It was either these dark colors or something that would make me look like a clown. So, last thing, mascara. They have these little mascaras. I got the LA Colors Bold, it's supposed to plump lashes, 
And on the back it actually says apply one to two coats as desired. Begin at base of lashes to tips. Oh, I didn't know how to put on mascara. Thank you so much. But this is supposed to be a eyelash plumping mascara. We'll see if it delivers. I'm that clean. I'm tired of trying to rip into this stuff, so I'm going to pull out my handy dandy knife. Because it is tough. But, on to my surprise buy of the day. This excited me so much. I got several of them. They had the Wet n Wild Class C series at Dollar Tree. I ended up getting two of these smoky liner brushes. I got a crease brush. I got a large concealer brush. And I got a small eyeshadow brush. I love these brushes. Um, I used to have some of these a while back. And I was glad to be able to find these. So I purchased a few. And these definitely will be in my eyeshadow brush set. So, with all of that said, we're gonna get into these makeup items and see if I can make a semi-decent look out of this and cross your fingers. So, the BB cream actually says to apply with your fingers, so we're going to do what it says. Maybe that'll help it. Um, and go from there. So we're going to go with the Sassy and Chic BB cream. It's supposed to be skincare plus makeup. I'm a little scared now. No real smell to it. That might be a match. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. This is very thick. Oh, my God. This is like putting lotion on my face. Okay. Oh, my God. This is so bad. <laughs> oh. Good thing I'm not wearing this anywhere. I mean, guys, this is like literal lotion on my face and it's not covering up anything so okay this is just streaking everywhere this is so bad oh my god this is already turning into a horrible thing and now that I'm rubbing more of this onto my skin. It definitely has a skincare type fragrance to it. Oh my god, this is horrible. This is so bad. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, this is disgusting. <laughs> I feel disgusting. <laughs> so I'm gonna pause you guys real quick. I'm gonna run and wet a sponge and see if I can make this do anything else. Be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Damn sponge. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh my god, this is so, so thick. I'm trying to see if I can get some of this to just like soak in and build up, but it's like splotching. Look at this. I already feel like I have a powder makeup on my face, and all I have is some. BB cream. I thought BB cream was supposed to be all light and nice with some coverage. Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh, 
thank you for being home tonight. Oh my god, my face looks wet. That is horrible. Okay. Well, we've got that catastrophe down. Let's see what we can do with this. This is in the shade Nude. Pretty good with a little piece of freaking packing material. Okay, that's kind of matting things down, but oh my god. I've got to set my entire face. Okay guys, I'm going to set my entire face and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I think this is as good as it's going to get. And this is so, this BB cream is so bad that it was like literally picking up on this and pulling it off of some of my face. <sighs> okay. Moving on. So, we're going to move on to contour. I think I'm going to do this half of my face with the contour sticks and this half of my face with the powders. So we're going to go in with this highlighter. Let's see what this is like. Okay. I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's got a pretty good thing. Let's see what the contour is like. Okay, I'm a little mad at that. It's kind of shiny, but the color is nice. So we're going to do this. I'm going to take some of this highlighter under my eye up here a little bit to kind of brighten this up. Is that taking off my makeup? Okay. And that's making my under eye look like crap. And then it's just rolling up all of that powder. So, that's the highlighter. Let's go in with bronzer. I'm gonna go right here. And bring this down a little bit. I'm not even gonna contour my nose. I don't do that normally, so I'm not even gonna try it. Okay, so those are on. Um, let's see here. I'm going to use this Luxie 832 airbrush brush and try to buff this in. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if you see that right there, it's just kind of like pulling up all the makeup and powder and everything. The contour is in, it's nothing to write home about. Okay, so I'm going to do this half of my face with these powders. So we're going to go in first with the bronzer shade. <clears throat> and this is going to be a shiny bronzer. But it's kind of the same color as that one, so okay. Let's go in with this Luxie 660 Precision Brush. Oh, that is powdery. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's... Okay. Oh, that's really dark. Let's flip this over to the cat. Buff that out a little bit. Okay. That's special. Let's go in with this highlighter. Let's see what this looks like. This kind of looks like a... Oh, that's a really pretty highlighter. So, let's see here. I'm going to go in with this Luxie 522 Tapered Blending Brush. I like this brush. Let's see what it does for this. Oh, okay. I'm not mad at that. It's got a match up here. I definitely like the powder highlighter more than I like the cream, 
But that looks kind of blinding right there. Okay, that's enough with that. So now that my face looks like crap, well, oh yeah, well, while we're at it, let's go ahead and just screw up everything with some blush. Um, this is making my face itch super bad. Okay, gonna dip in with this Luxie 516 brush. Oh god, that is so dark. Okay, trying to, oh god, that's horrible. Okay, and then when I knock it off, it knocks everything off. Okay. So now I look like I've been smacked around a little bit. I look like I'm kind of a tin man here. I don't know what's going on up here. Okay. This, gotta go. Okay. Moving on to eyes. We're gonna dip into, I think I'm gonna use this creme brulee shade to kind of just set my eye. I'm gonna use one of my Wet n Wild brushes. This is just the big, crease brush okay just do that all over my lid <clears throat> okay so not mad at this it's gonna go over here with the powder highlighter things I'm not mad at oh this has got tape on it where did my knife go? Ah. Almost stabbed myself in the hand. That's exactly what I need. Oh, look, they even put a little thin piece of plastic in. Nobody cares. Okay. Oh, God. My face is just so bad right now, guys. It is just horrible. Okay, I'm going to take this e.l.f. brush right here. This is just one of my normal ones that I use for blending and in the crease. I'm going to dip into, well, see here's the problem, I'm looking at this now and this shade right here and this shade right here are the only two mattes. So I think I'm going to dip into this top one because it looks to be lighter. Is anything going on my brush? I can see something in my screen. I don't know if that's something going on or if I'm just rubbing the powder and stuff off of my eyeball. So I'm just going to dig into this. Okay. I think that's about as good as that's going to get. And you have to really like dig in to get any color to come up. Okay. Let me use the bottom. There we go. Scratch up some product. Okay. I think that's about as good as that's going to get. Just making a stack of brushes over here that I'm going to have to wash out for this video. Okay, I'm actually just going to take this large concealer brush. Why not? And I'm going to dip into this other dark matte shade. Okay, that's actually coming up. I'm going to go to the outer corner. Okay. That was kind of look very similar, but I can see a little bit more of this. Those on this eye look very much like. Okay. Let's go to the lid. <laughs> I'm going to dip into this lighter shade uh, with this little smudger brush. Why not? I mean, okay. Let's try wetting the brush. See if that helps any. Oh, no, 
have. It's just making it kind of cakey in the pan, okay. And it's not really doing anything on the eye. Isn't that just special? And it's kind of just caking on this other eye, okay. All right. I'm gonna take this little no-name pencil tip brush and I'm gonna dip into this white shade in the palette and try to, oh, that is definitely white. That is definitely white. Okay. Oh, this is just such a special little look here. Okay, guys. So that is the eyes. Super special. Okay. Next, why don't we try the mascara? Why not? I already look like a battered clown. Oh, let's go. Alright, that's kind of... It's kind of dry. It's not exactly like a very wet mascara wand. Okay, it's not terrible. I mean, it's a cheap mascara. It's not terrible. It's nothing to write home about. It's nothing I'd exactly grab every day. My other mascaras tend to do a little bit better. So let's go for something free. A friend of mine gave me this for free. It's a Cosmoholic. I don't know if this is a liquid lipstick or a gloss. It doesn't have a shade on it. Why not? Oh, I think this is a gloss. This is a gloss. Hmm. With a very crappy applicator. But it has a kind of like chocolatey scent to it. So here it is, guys. This is the final look. I'm not putting setting spray on this because I'm fixing to immediately go and wash this off my face. It has my face itching and there's no telling what is on my face right now. So here's the cream side, which looks like crap. Here's the powder side, which looks a little bit better. Let's go through these products. This is absolute junk i don't care if you have nothing to put on do not get this this is crap powder the powder was nice the applicator sucks the powder's not that bad it's just a little too dark for me and very cheap pass oh where did they go these things run for your life just don't ever look their way, okay? These are crappy, they don't blend out very well. It's kind of once you put it there, it's there, and that is that. Highlighter and bronzer. Not bad shades, I'm not mad at these. Um, this is kind of a shimmery bronzer, which might be nice during the summertime. This highlighter is very good, it's a very bright, I'm not mad at that. I might actually use these in another video and see what the wear time is on them. No. That's all I have to say. I look like I've been smacked in the face. The Wet n Wild eyeshadow was nice. It is creamy. It is 
easy to apply. I barely even, I didn't even scratch up the imprint on it and there is a swatch for you if you can, I don't know if y'all can pick that up. Let's try. It is a very nice base color. Keeping this. This is shit. <laughs> it is literal shit. I had to dig into the pans to get them to work. They do not blend very well. It is splotchy all over my eyes. This shade, I literally had to take the end of the brush and dig into it to get anything up. This shade and this shade are very similar on the eyes. This shade will not show up without wetting the brush. Once you wet the brush, it cakes up in the pan. This shade is literally white. There is no, sh it looks glimmery in the pan. There is no glimmer to this. It is just white. This, not horrible if you're in a pinch, sure, but it's not gonna do anything for your lashes. My eyelashes actually look smaller than if I'm using some of my other mascaras, but not bad in a pinch. And this crap is lip gloss and I hate lip gloss, so I'm immediately going and getting this off my eyes. So, that's the end of this dollar challenge video. The only things that I really liked out of this were bronzer, highlighter, and this e.l.f. shadow. And of course, I'm keeping these wet and wild brushes because I love these. But everything else I have plans for for another video. So you guys keep an eye out for that upcoming video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell. I upload Monday through Thursday before 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm also known to throw in some bonus videos from time to time. And you will not know that unless you ring the bell. Tell me what you think of this look and this challenge down in the comments below or find me on social media. All the links will be down below. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So guys, that is it and I will see you on the next one. Bye!